nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So today when it comes to watchOS 10, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the third developer beta and this update comes two weeks after the release of beta 2. The public beta should be coming out pretty soon and I will tweet or thread about that when it comes out. But for me on my Apple Watch Ultra, I actually had an issue updating to watchOS 10 beta 3. As you can see on my Apple Watch, when I was looking for this update, it just wouldn't show up. And what I actually had to do was to go into my Apple Watch application settings and go into general and go to where it says software update and go and turn off the watchOS developer updates. So once I turn those off and then I turn back on, I was able to see watchOS 10 developer beta 3. It could be an issue that you might experience as well. And that is just a quick small workaround if you need to see this update. Now, obviously this is not all that Apple released. You can see some other operating systems or softwares that Apple released today. That's iOS 17 beta 3, iPad OS 17 beta 3, Mac OS 14 beta 3, and for like a virtual seed machine, we have developer support for Mac OS 14 beta 3. And of course, the update that we are covering today, watchOS 10 beta 3, as well as tvOS 17 beta 3. Unfortunately though, if we go into the application section and go to look for the Vision OS beta, it seems like this time around they delayed the Vision OS update. You can see Vision OS is still on beta one and maybe we'll see Vision OS beta two in a week or two, but these are the updates that came out today. So my Apple Watch Ultra is up to date. You can see that if we go into settings and go to where it says general right here and go to software update, we are up to date. And we have go to the about section. I just want to show you the build number that we have. We have 21R5305E. So the build number that we have at this time around has an E at the end. And in terms of stability, it's kind of interesting that already with the beta three, we already on an E which is a fast moving update, but I will see how it holds up in terms of stability and bugs that it has to offer or resolve. Now, when it comes to some new features and new changes that this update has to offer, the first one that I would like to show you here has to do with health. So if you go into your iPhone that's paired with your Apple Watch and go to the health application and you go to the mental well-being section here, you notice that Coming from beta one, beta two, you will notice that this section has been updated. And also not only that, but if you go into the logging your emotion and moods and you click this section, you see that this pop-up screen is here and you can begin. And if you click where it says next, you'll be able to see that this is now has having better and newer richer colors. So it's just a minor update that has been made to this application. And then you probably see that I had this watch face. This is the Nike hybrid watch face. With the previous watch OS 10 beta 2, there was an issue of overlapping text with notifications and with changes. So you can see here it is showing the metrics normal, which is a good thing. And this bar before was just like a scribbled bar right there on beta 2. But at this time around, this has been fixed. I did want to highlight though, if you are going to be updating to watchOS 10, the public beta, we are expecting the public beta, well, the first public beta of watchOS 10 to come out maybe later this week, or although now it's a Thursday, it seems like that's going to be a possibility next week. So if you are looking forward to that, then you will be able to download it on the public beta most likely next week. Now, also another thing that I have to update you on has to do with the home application. It's really hard to show on the Apple Watch, but there's minor code changes in the background. And also when it comes to the keyboard input, like when you go to type something, I'll just go into like a message and uh, try and type a message here. You can see when I do that, the bug with the keyboard input on the iPhone wouldn't show up. 
has now been resolved and this is now showing up which is a good thing and there's also been minor updates to the weather app on the apple watch so they are tweaking and making some of the text a little bit clear to see which is a good thing now when it comes to some of the issues that people are experiencing with watch os 10 to be specific on this developer beta it has to do with loading default applications sometimes you know you try to get your apps from your iphone or from the apple watch store and they won't load on your apple watch and so that seems to be an issue at this time around and the biggest issue that people are facing has to do with the battery so i just want to show you since i updated to this last night let's see how much battery it used up to now so we're going to the battery section and you can see i charged my watch up to you know up to like nine o'clock or 9 p.m and right now you can see it's the next day seven uh just 10 minutes past seven so i used seven percent which is actually not bad so that's a plus for this update and you can see yeah actually it was last charged to 100 percent right here so you can see i used seven percent and that is actually not bad and if we go into our battery health to see our maximum health capacity it's still on 100 percent and this apple watch ultra is really holding it strong when it comes to this update or the battery health maximum capacity with the previous apple watch series 7 by this time i would have been somewhere like on 96 percent maximum health capacity so that's a plus for this Apple Watch Ultra for holding it tight with the battery. But other than that, this is how this update came in for me. The Apple Watches, the new ones that came with WatchOS 10, I really haven't been having any issues with them. My Snoopy animations are working normal. And so is the new uh, watch face. <laughs> I forgot that you actually can change your watch face by just swiping. You actually have to hold and swipe. And this Palette Watch Face 2 has been working well for me when it comes to the update so other than that this is how watch os 10 is working on my apple watch ultra i wouldn't recommend you update to it as of yet you can see people are having issues with the battery and then also with loading your default applications on your apple watch as well i don't know why perhaps that is being blocked by apple or it could be a serious bug that's affecting this update but with the next update I will keep you uh, I'll give you an update if that is a resolved issue or it's still an existing one. So that's about it for me. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the